Hello everyone! This is going to be a quick video about navigation. Specifically, I'll be explaining the terms magnetic inclination and magnetic declination, where they come from and why they are important. Hopefully you already know that the Earth we live on has its own magnetic field. If you didn't know that, surprise! The Earth has its own magnetic field. This field is totally invisible to us, but it exerts a force on magnetic objects like the iron needle in the centre of a compass. Like all magnets, the Earth has a North Pole and a South Pole. Its magnetic field can be represented by lines that come out of the South Pole, curve all the way around the planet, and return through the North Pole. Now, a compass is an instrument designed to point toward the North Pole by following those lines. To put it another way, the magnetic force acting on this needle twists it into the same orientation as the Earth's magnetic field. The terms inclination and declination refer to properties of the field that change across the Earth's surface. The magnetic field doesn't have the same strength or orientation everywhere. It is not uniform. This is partly because of the way it curves, which causes inclination. Inclination is the angle between a horizontal line, the ground, and the vertical direction in which the magnetic field points. To measure it, simply turn your compass on its side so the needle can swing up or down. Where I'm standing, the inclination is fairly close to zero, which means the Earth's magnetic field is almost parallel to the floor. If I were standing on the North or South Pole, it would be 90 degrees, straight into or out of the ground. As a convention, the inclination is given as a positive number if it points into the ground, so when the compass needle dips down. Conversely, if the needle points up away from the ground, the inclination is a negative number. Declination is a little bit more confusing. It's a result of the fact that the North Pole I've been referring to, the magnetic North Pole, is not actually in the same place as the geographic North Pole. The geographic North Pole is the point where the Earth's axis of rotation meets the surface, in the centre of the Arctic Circle. The magnetic North Pole is, as I said earlier, the point a compass is drawn to by the Earth's magnetic field. If you were to draw a line to the geographic North Pole and to the magnetic North Pole, the angle between those lines would be the magnetic declination at your location. Declination measures the difference between the two points. It's really important to know about declination if you plan to go hiking or orienteering overseas. It varies not only across the Earth's surface, but also with time, because the magnetic North Pole drifts slightly from year to year. Geographic North, which never changes, is the north displayed on maps, but it's not necessarily where your compass will point. Online declination calculators allow you to look up an area of interest and correct your compass bearings to account for the difference between geographic north and magnetic north. That means you'll be able to follow a map to the correct destination no matter where you are in the world. Inclination is not as vital for people on the ground, but it's an important factor in the navigation of planes that fly long distances. It's also interesting to visualise. The pieces of metal in this globe represent magnetic inclination at various points. They show how the lines of Earth's magnetic field intersect with its surface. This video was requested by a viewer. If there's a science topic you want me to cover, leave a comment below or send me a message and I will try to create a video about it before the sun explodes. Thank you for watching and good luck with your studies!